Hello everyone, welcome to episode 7 of Pokemon Prism. In the last episode, we checked out what there was to see around Spurge City. Um, it is a urban hell. We have an orphanage down here. We spent a lot of our time there yesterday. Um, the Pokemon Mart, which is pretty big, pretty nice. An apartment complex and the casino. In this episode, uh, we need to make more money to be able to actually check out the casino. So, we've got to explore Route 74. We already fought Sailor R Richie, I think, in the last episode. So now... I want to take a look at your Pokemon party. Very polite. Very polite. Thank you. Psychic Teller wants to battle. Oh, he is a... He who names their kid Teller? <laughs> Can't even think of anything smart to say to that. Also didn't notice until now, but like, Hey Sprite is kind of weird. Do you see like the like back foot, like that like open space? Hmm. Hmm. He grew to level 17. And he sends out a Kadabra. <laughs> Does it only know teleport? Oh my god. It only does teleport, so you do not- so these guys are just free XP. If you catch a Pokemon before you fight this guy, you can you can just get XP off of it. That's so sweet. Thank you for feeding my Pokemon. Wow, your Pokemon are talented. And we send some to the bank. No Pokemon is truly the same. Every single one has its own individual traits. Cute are your Pokemon? Show me! That's freaky. I wouldn't say that. Pokefan Jessica has a Jigglypuff. Oh, it's a fairy type, so that's a terrible idea. I'm bad at the game. Don't. <laughs> that was a critical hit. <gasps> uh, I don't want to stay in for this. Critical hit of your own. Unfortunately, I don't care. <laughs> Competitive raised its special attack? Is that a... What is that? Is that like a real thing? I mean, obviously, but like, I didn't know that... Okay, so if it had a special attacking move, it went to use instead of... Oh, uh... Please have enough accuracy drop that you don't hit me. Oh my god. Water gun. It's kind of crazy we haven't gotten a move better than water gun yet, but... I guess not that crit. Huh? How is water very effective? The fairy's neutral? Grrr. I'm pretty sure Jigglypuff's like a fairy type, so I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't mind losing, really. Baby Pokemon are so adorable. Lock her up. That's crazy. Um, you were standing there, but no hidden item. No hidden item. Why are there no hidden items? Guys. Guys. Not oh, cool. Haha! <laughs> Time to show off my Pikachu! I wonder what Pokemon he's gonna have. Is it, uh... What? I could never have foreseen this. I think, like, two Mudslaps. Oh. Oh? Okay, well, that's annoying, but that's fine. Not as annoying as the rollout. Malarkey. Ooh. We got a critical hit. And let's slap it one more time. To completely devastate this Pikachu. Get wrecked. Oh, God. Poor guy. <laughs> Who says that? I'm not the only Pikachu maniac in the Nalyo region, but none of them have as much passion as I do. Ooh. And we get TM12 Sweet Scent. That's freaky. We have passion about Pikachu. Spurge City is to our south. We were just there. Laurel City's to the right, and that has, um, cut. That's, there's a cut tree blocking that. To our left is Heath Village. No hidden items. No hidden items. No hidden items. We are on the island of Raiwan. Thank you for helping us remember. Oh. Okay. So this is also a little path. That's cute. I like that. 
I saw that it was different. I honestly assumed it was going to be like a rock climb thing. For years, this was a ferry crossing. Then they built this land bridge. Convenient, sure. But what about the family who ran the ferry service? Society never thinks about the little people. Well, they're thinking about pedestrians, which might be also important. But I guess no one can win, uh, truly. This takes us from the island of Raiwan to the island of Lobelia. That's why that sign was there. Hey, buddy. Oh, great. It's you. I heard all about what you did from the annoying pink patroller. You have no right to mess with my group like that. Guess I'll just have to teach you a lesson or two. Uh... Sir, please don't. Pallet Red wants to battle, sending out a Growlithe. You Growlithe. Unfortunately for you, I'm about to get kicked into the dirt. Oh. I'm about to get kicked into the dirt. And I miss. So, I can't win. That's actually lovely. I actually love that for myself. Yay! Yippee! Yippee! I'm not gonna try and sing it. I think I'm gonna try and sing whatever comes up next, and I definitely want to sing the Eevee. Ooh, we get leered, but we have a lot of HP, and we're um, we're an evolved Pokemon compared to all of these guys, so I think we're gonna be in a good spot. I hope. Hey, buddy. Okay, we miss, but that's fine. We've got time. Okay, I got really scared by that growth. I was on. I was fearful. I was fearful. Beep. I gotta get the future sight damage <laughs> up and ready. I don't remember how much future sight actually does. I think it's good. I think it's good damage. Go for the double slap because if we only get two, it's worse than water gun. But if we get at least three, it's better, and we just get rid of it completely. Or Eevee. Oh, almost makes me feel a little bad. <laughs> almost. Ah ha ha. Get wrecked, get shredded. And Future Sight takes it out. Yes, yes. Feels good to win. Oh, ha, ha. And Monroe wants bubble. I was just talking about that. I was literally just talking about that. Ro roll back the tape. It's kind of crazy we haven't gotten a move better than Water Gun yet, but. Pilot Red defeated. What is it with everyone? I, once one of the greatest trainers in the world, this red was beaten by a mere child. No matter, I have big plans that'll make everything in Naljo right again. You got lucky this time, but I'll be back. Count on it. I don't like you. None of us do. Just make everything in the world right and surrender. Oh my god. Hey, I need to talk to you. Please keep quiet about me ignoring that battle. Huh? Why didn't I stop Mr. Spandex that you fought? He yelled at me when I called his outfit Spandex. <clears throat> My hurt feelings made me decide to take a break. If you keep quiet, I'll give you this nifty HM. Oh, yes, yes. HM01 is cut. You'll be able to clear small bushes blocking your way. Which is the bush east of here. You'll need the nature badge? Okay. In order to use it, though. Okay, so we do have cut, but we can't use it yet. And we finally made it to Heath Village. I love this music. Oh my god. Incredible. Heath Village. Ringy's Forest. So that's like Ilex Forest down there. We could take a... I think. Heath Village. Rest House. I can climb any mountain in Naljo. Maybe someday I'll be able to climb other famed mountains. I'm gonna be a grass type user, just like Rinji. Rinji loves everything about nature, and he's livid about the changes that are happening to our dear region. Uh, like urbanization? Guys, you can't you can't fight the urbanization. Heath Village holds rich tradition. People these days don't appreciate their legs enough. I can tell by your shoes that you've taken many steps. Nice knowing people still use their feet. As a token of gratitude, you can have this bicycle! Oh, <gasps> yes! 
Thank you. Having fun with your bicycle? Astounding how many things your legs can do. Freaky. What? Oh, I've been dozing off for too long. Is an apology? Take this TM. Is it snore? Or is it rest? This TM is sleep talk. Your Pokemon will use a random attack while it's sleeping. Cool. These doors don't lead anywhere. Now I'm like checking like every possible aisle. I'm like, where where's a gold token? Inside is a small shrine dedicated to the Guardians of Naljo. Residents visit daily in hopes that they will awaken and watch over us once more. Cute. Okay. I like that. The legends have awoken! I'm happy to be alive to experience the vision of our guardians. Okay, so they so they have awoken. Or is this like a like Jesus has returned situation? Centuries ago, Naljo was nothing but ocean. During the Great Wars, the legends created new isolated islands free of wars, where everyone would be able to live in peace. Veranius and the others came from around the world to build our home and protect us from outsiders. Pokemon and people lived in peace and harmony for centuries until a deranged man stole their orbs. Huh? The orbs were the source of their powers. Without the orbs, the guardians fell into a deep sleep. They continued to sleep up to this very day. With the region unprotected, People around the world moved into our region and tearing down the nature that the Guardians created in order to build cities and towns. Okay, but this is... I mean, I guess this is a village. But, like... <laughs> being mad at all urban development, or all development for existing, is, like... Eco-fascist? Is this, is this an eco-fascist game? It's like... I guess it's kind of like Gen 3. They brought the many stresses and complications of the modern world over to us. Many Naljo natives welcome outsiders with open arms, but there are some who dedicate their lives to seeking out the lost orbs. Why is that the di dichotomy? Are all the outsiders going to get pushed out and like, shipped away if you get the orbs? If an orb is returned to a guardian, it will awaken. Our guardian will be able to preserve our culture, protect us from outsiders once again. That's crazy. The implications of that are crazy. Oh my god, dedicate the shrine is dedicated to like blaming immigrants. <laughs> That's insane. I enjoy the village traditions. It's a nice change of pace from the modernization of big society. Guys, not all mo not all modernization is bad. Okay, so we have this. Um, I'm assuming this is where we could surf off of. And that would let us go to the battle arcade. Looks like that's all it would be able to do. Oh, wait, no. And Faraway Island over there. So you can probably get to Faraway Island from Heath Village. Cool. Oh, and here we are on Route 69. This is the, this is the, um, this is where we had got, where we would be able, oh my god. Where we would be able to use Cut earlier. Route 68 plus 1. Please stop taking the signs. I love that. I love that. It's so funny. <laughs> um, let's see here. Okay, we got another little dock moment. I keep on thinking there's gonna be hidden items, and I know there's not. Are you a trainer? Oh my god. I was just about to leave. I'm gonna go uh, to the rest stop. It's bothering me. And I'm gonna go to the rest stop in style. Whoa. Whoa, this is fast. Oh my god. This is about to. I'm. <laughs> I swear to god, this bike is so fast. If this was on, like, Diamond and Pearl, you'd be, like, clipped out of the map in seconds. Life is not supposed to be that fast. This village is purely family run. It only consists of family members and has stayed that way for centuries now. My cousin Rinji often takes our children into his forest to become Pokemon trainers. My grandmother manages the rooms in this very inn, and my brother runs the shop. 
So how do you guys populate? That's not a good question. Welcome, how may I help you? And these are our mining picks. I said we needed casino money, but give me a minute. Oh my god, I have no money. Is it gonna cost money? Yep. You and your Pokemon look tired. I'll let you run a room for a hundred. Thank you, have a good rest. What was that sound? Welcome back, I hope you enjoyed your stay. That was a weird, that was weird. Well, thank you for your time, thank you for your mining picks. I appreciate it. Does this map only have Pidgeys? Like, could I see like a little variety? Just a little bit. Wouldn't, wouldn't kill. I used to live here. Still come by to water the garden. Back in the day, I would watch over the docks there. I would help the villagers haul in their catch. I miss those days. Oh, that actually does make me feel kind of bad. That's sweet. That's really sweet. Okay, we've got a PC here. Why is there even a gate out here? Seems kind of arbitrary to me. What am I supposed to be guarding? We're in the middle of nowhere. The docks in the north are clearly abandoned, and the route to the south is still in such a bad state. Why am I here? Why is anyone here? That's the last time I have an argument with my supervisor. <laughs> okay, so this is still Route 69. Dang it. What are your battle methods? I'm just getting asked pointed questions. Full trainer Carlo wants to battle. Sending in a Meryl. Um. Um, quad week. I'm gonna stay in anyway, I have a funny idea. Critical hit, accuracy fell. Goes for a tail whip first, which is interesting. My idea is Dean can probably tank one water move that Meryl isn't even gonna use. Er. Or maybe it's just softening me up. Oh yeah, because it used tail whip, but then it would be using water gun, which is a special type move. Put her in the dirt! We do not get enough experience to level up, but that's okay. Oh, okay, so we only have water type Pokemon. That makes sense. That just makes sense. Oh no, a bubble! A 20 damage move! Huh. Well, if you can't beat him, K is strong enough. K is strong enough. I'm right, not even half. Okay. Two Merrells and a Chincho. Jesus Christ. We need like a grass type Pokemon soon. That is, that's nasty work. I'm you, but stronger. <laughs> We're gonna be able to get away um, with keeping Monroe in on Chincho, I think. It grows to level 18. We'd grow nothing. That's okay. That's okay. Two. Yes. Three's enough. Three's enough. Didn't even need the future sight. That's crazy. Monroe is so strong. Monroe is so powerful. Really? Perhaps you can teach me a thing or two. No? How rude. Sorry. I don't. I don't just give it away for free. I want to put- now whenever I see a Pokemon that I'm annoyed by, I just want to put it in the orphanage. I should probably heal up though. Oh. oh my god, if you need a bird Pokemon, I know where to go. Actually got a wonderful place for you to go. Okay, the grass turned a different color. I realize, um, the rest stop being 100 Poke Dollars means you're gonna have to like, have to be a little bit more mindful in this part. Ooh. And now it's night time, so we actually have a beautiful new look at Route 69. I'm fully healed up. I'm going the wrong way. <gasps> Guys. Guys. I have an idea. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. <laughs> mm. 
Welcome to the team route! Please. Oh, I spoke. My bad. No! No way! No way! Uh, hello? Give me a minute. I've had enough of you. You're not what I'm looking for. Please go back. Hello again. You teleport away, I am going to cry. What's this catch rate? I feel like Ralts has a pretty decent catch rate. Yes, dude! Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Thank God we did it. I was so worried. Ralts, the feeling Pokemon. The horns on its head provide a strong power that enables it to sense people's emotion. Well, could you sense that I'm happy to have you to the party? Ah, rah, 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 rah. Let's see. Guys, I overthought the name. Um, <laughs> oh, but we do have teleport. Okay, that's amazing. So I went with Calliope. Um, but also Kali for the, um, Hindi god of- Hindi? For the Hindu god of, um, death, time, and change. We get Growl, Confusion, Teleport, and Draining Kiss. Pretty good special attack. Thoroughly Cunning. Is, is that, like, really high special attack? I don't- I don't know. And it has Trace, which is a little worse than Synchronize, but so be it. And I think that is a great place to stop for today. In this episode, we fought through a uh, route. <laughs> In this episode, we fought, I was right. We fought through Route 74, defeated the Patroller Red, got the HM for cut, which we can't use yet because we need to take down the Heath Village gym leader, Ringy. And. We also explored Route 69 and got a new party member, I teleported. Went through Route 69 and got a new party member, Calliope. In the next episode, we are going to challenge the gym leader, Ringy. Maybe doing a couple battles over on Route 69 before we do that with our new party member. See you guys then.